Hello, my name is Anshul Fernando and today we're going to be talking about Ornithoptera meridionalis versus Ornithoptera paradisia. Now these happen to be the females of Ornithoptera meridionalis tarungarensis and they come from a region called Tamika in Irian Jaya, Indonesia. Now as you can see they all have yellow bodies which tells you right away that that is a warning sign to birds and reptiles not to be eaten. Now when I look at these I think they're absolutely spectacular, I think they're lovely, but they're all females. And I'm going to show you the males right now. So here are the males that you see at the top. These are the corresponding males to the females I've just shown you. And if you'll notice carefully, there are little tiny arrowheads on the tails of these ornithoptera. Now what I'm showing you here are the only bird wing butterflies that actually have tails. Some people would like to classify them as true swallowtails. The good news is that all bird wings fall under the category of swallowtail butterflies. It just so happens to be that these bird wings have tails. Now, if you look at the three, bottom three specimens, they're actually all different. This is known as the Ornithoptera paradisia, and this is the Arphicensis, but this Arphicensis has orange on its forewings. That makes it an aberration. The center one is an Ornithoptera paradisia. Now this one here has not been described as of yet. It's from Nabire in Irian Jaya. It looks very different from the rest. And uh, what one here is also an undescribed Ornithoptera paradisia and it comes from Jaipura in Irian Jaya. And if you look carefully, all three of those paradisias are different from one another. Now what's interesting about the paradisia is that it doesn't have any arrow arrowheads on its tail. It's just a sharp point. Now all of these bird wings, they fly high up in the rainforest canopy. You, it would be very difficult to see them descending down. They come very early in the morning to drink from the hibiscus and lantana plants and the bougainville flowers and then, oh sorry, bougainvillea flowers. And then they ascend back up to the rainforest canopy. So what we have to do in order to get the eggs down or the larvae down is we climb up these gigantic trees and uh, the indigenous people have little tiny paintbrushes in their mouths and then they remove the pupa, sorry, the larva and the eggs from underneath the, the leaves high up in the rainforest canopy, bring them down in a little satchel to their huts where they're growing the seedlings of the vines, the Aristolochia vines, and that's how they're able to grow these. It's highly labor intensive. And you can imagine that trying to catch one of these with a net would easily snap its tails. Now this one here in the middle, this Meridianalis, is different from all the others. This one is quite a bit larger and it comes from the Papua New Guinean side. And that one there is Ornithoptera Meridianalis Meridianalis. It's actually the nominate from which the others have uh, evolved from. Again, this makes this a very special collection because there's a number of different subspecies here from different locations. And interestingly, these particular bird wings are some of the smallest in the world and as a result of that the value of the bird wing of this species increases as the length of the wingspan increases because they're such a small uh, bird wing. So if you were to find specimens as large as these they fetch far more of a market price than the average Meridianalis. Average Meridianalis has a five centimeter, four and a half to five centimeter distance from the base of the costal margin to the tip. So there you have some fun facts about the rare Ornithoptera meridionalis and the Paradisia birdwing. If you like this, subscribe and share it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.